Hello, this is John Abdo, author of Wolves of Croton, The Untold Story of Milo. This is going to be some audio excerpts from Book 12, Chapter 1, as Milo enters into his second Olympiad Games, which are the 62nd Olympiad Games, held in Olympia, Greece, August 532 B.C. He is now age 27. And after wrestling for about eight years, the first Olympiad Games, obviously, before that, and then the World Youth Games in 540 BC, Milo, instead of using his wild, feral brawn, has taken the sport seriously and has dedicated himself to his coach, Philostratus, to learn proper technique to show respect for the sport, his coach, his teammates, and his city-state of Croton. Quote, a skillful wrestler is an educated man. Philostratus. To excel in the sport of wrestling, athletes must demonstrate supreme acumen. Coaches from other states voice such words to motivate their wrestlers. The weaker man can defeat the stronger man by using his brains. Timely application of technical skills will enable one to outmaneuver the larger, stronger opponent. Be cunning and you will defeat this Milo of Croton. Milo was well aware of the rumors that mocked his Herculean brawn. After all, most of Milo's opponents had to be carried to the infirmary with broken bones and ruptured muscles. The price he paid for his strength was an ongoing narrative citing his lack of brains. Although his teammates believed he could defeat any man through the employment of his overbearing brawn alone, as he entered his conditioning for the 62nd Olympiads, Holding his vow to Philostratus, Milo gained a deeper respect for wrestling and made a commitment to demonstrating supreme honor for the sport. Like the Phagalian Pancratianist who produced the famous three-time Olympiad Pancration champion Arician of Phagalia, Philostratus developed wrestling techniques that were exclusive to his wrestlers while modifying even conventional applications to suit Milo's unique physical dimensions and athletic attributes. And as we conducted our strength conditioning, playing our roles as his training partners, the entire Cretonian team was determined to master a variety of technical wrestling maneuvers designed to outwit and outmuscle all opponents so as to assist Milo in retaining his rank as a world superpower. Progressively, yet systematically, by implementing a mental aspect into what many regard a brawny combat sport, Philostratus taught us that wrestling is an art form, one that originates in the conscious sectors of the mind that are responsible for activating voluntary functions and are thus far expressed through a combination of adroitly applied athletic skills that are supported by anatomically nimble yet theatrical motions. Thank <laughs> you.